Well, I think we need to start thinking about that and about the toxicity of sulfide in the same way we already think about this toxicity of ammonia. If you have a kid where you suspect seizures as a result of elevated ammonia, for example in urea cycle defects, they might present later in life, but once you think about that, you know that you need to start getting rid of these ammonia levels within hours because it will be extremely brain damaging. Molybdenum cofactor deficiency and sulfide toxicity is pretty much down the same pathway, but with a very early presentation in the first days of life. But what is in common is the toxicity forbids a long waiting period for either test results to come back or additional diagnostic workups, advanced imaging. I think if we want to see good outcomes and to prevent brain damage, we need to start treatment within the first days of life and your thinking need to be in hours, not in days.